All right, Volley fans, waiting for some more stuff here. Okay, we're going to do something now. We're going to send data to a web server. Hopefully, that's our own web server. Uh, you know, the whole thing with uh, Google was kind of cool, but, you know, it wasn't really going to help us out in here. So what we're going to do here in this tutorial is we're going to create a PHP script to receive a get request. We're going to modify a volley, this volley string request code to send that get request. And then we're going to display the result that gets sent back. And, you know, and if you're uh, just kind of hanging out, waiting for the other good stuff to happen, you want to learn, we're going to learn a little Klingon along the way, okay? All right, so the requirements are that we're going to have web server, we're going to have to have access to a web server that runs PHP. Now, if you got access to a website and you can FTP files over there and work on them, that's great. You know, you can use that. Uh, what I do in a development environment here is, I use something called XAMPP, which is basically having your own little web server right on your own uh, PC. So, uh, you know, I got some links I'll set up here for you to, to go over there. There's some great tutorials on how to set up XAMPP. It's pretty easy, and then, you know, you can be off and running. Don't need it, but I just thought I'd throw it out there for, uh, for the reference. All right, so let's kind of get into this. PHP script resides on your web server, okay? So we're going to make this little script. We're going to throw it out there onto our, our web server. And this is what your volley request will go here and it'll get this. And so what it's going to do is it's going to do a couple things. It's going to check, is there, is there any data in that, in that username? Is there any data in that get request? And if so, we're going to throw that into a variable and then we're going to put the request back out. Okay, kapla, here you go, first claim on. Kapla means success. Nuke neck. Uh, that's just when a Klingon says, okay, what are you up to? It's their greeting. So we're looking for some success here. So what we can do is this is not specific uh, to, to Android Volley for any reason. This this is simp, uh, like a simple HTML form. In fact, what I did on my little web server here is that I just created a simple form, just like you've done a hundred times in the past. We view the source, just have a form, and we're going to send that action of that form to our get, receive get php script okay and that's just that's what this uh that's what this is i call this so i copied that over and so what you see here is so if i do a post here if i just submit it's going to do the get and kapla success so what it did to return my username and my password just like the script was supposed to do uh we can just check it out make sure there's nothing in there it does make sure that check nuke neck okay looks like we're doing what well. we're doing fine here okay so that's a good good thing to do now what we're going to do is say okay if this receive script is out there on our server how do we get our android app to actually go and get it all right, so in that steps, we're going to go back here and we're going to do a little house cleaning in our activity because uh, we're going to start using this code over and over and over again and uh, making little tweaks to it. So we're going to make a copy of it and use it. So we're going to, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut this out and I'm going to create a new method uh, down here, void, and we're going to call this get string request. Okay, and in the string request, I'm just going to put that in there, and I'm going to copy that code that I paste in, that I cut out of the top here. We're going to have to reference it up here, get string request, and that'll just run exactly what we have. So, But we want to make this a little more flexible. So what I'm going to do is I'd like to pass that argument in that was our URL where we're going to send that thing. We're going to take this out of here, and we are going to put in a new URL, put a URL back in here directly. And, uh, let's go to someplace else, HTTP. Let's say, let's go to www.startrek.com. And we're going to run our app, and we're going to see what happens here. Hopefully, we're going to send it off to the Star Trek website, and it will send back a re reply that's just, just like, Google just to make sure that you know we're sending that information through that argument list correctly. Okay, here we go. Let's take a look and what do we got? Um, looks like we got a kapla success Star Trek official website. Okay, that's great. Now let's go back and let's take a look here uh, at something else we want to do. 
All right, rather than uh, go off to StarTrek.com, as cool as it is, we really want to send this uh, get request to the script that we have uh, sitting on our server. And, you know, I got this script out here on my little local local server, and if I, if I have this form, and it's going to go off to um, this uh, Android get receive PHP, uh, receive get PHP script that I have out there. So what I want to do is I want to direct um, my Android application to that script. Now, uh, one thing I, I got to do here is I got to change this URL. It's this little uh, commando stuff um, because I'm using this local server here. Uh, we know this could be the URL of your website. So let me just type that in and we'll get right to it. All right, this is like commando stuff here. Okay, this is... Um, this is what the uh, emulator recognizes as our website. It's just an IP address. So we're going to run this script and we're going to take a look and see what kind of response we should get back. So uh, if we're kind of following along here on our script, you know, we're not sending anything. We're just going to that that uh, that script. And so what we should get is a little uh, nuke knack back, a little Klingon uh, lip here. So what we're going to do is we're going to say OK and what happens? Oh, unfortunately, simple login stopped. Bad news. Okay, so let's go back and see what happened. Look a look down here. Looky look down in the diagnostics here, and we say, oh, on law on on fifty one line fifty one. So, oh, how do you get one lines numbers up here? Well, I kind of did this before. So, actually, I want to show you if you go line numbers, right click, show line numbers, bingo. Look in fifty one. See, here's one of the things that you probably that you fall in all the time when you cut and paste script from other places they put stuff in that you really don't care about i understand why they did this they said okay we're going to go out there to google and we don't want to display all the data that's on the web page we're only going to put the first 500 characters unfortunately if you don't have 500 characters it bombs out okay so what we're going to do is we're just going to say okay we don't care about that we just want the response back we're going to run our script again and hopefully what we're going to get back is a little success, you know. Let's see what we got here. And hopefully, you know, things will heal up and all of these error messages will go away. And what do we got? Ah, nuknek, our response. Not very good, but um, not very happy response, but it is what we expected. So now what we want to do is, okay, we want, we've tested the form. Uh, we're going to direct the app to the PHP script, and we got a little success back. Okay, so man, we are working with Android Volley, sending some stuff to the server. Actually, we're not really sending anything to the server yet. We're just sending that GET request. So what we want to do is now we want to test, can we send something there? And, you know, we're going to kind of take these small steps. It's a, I don't say it's a cheat, but it's something to, to, to look at. So if you look at a GET request from just this form that, we, that I had created, you know, you, in the query string, you're sending these variables username and password okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say okay let's just see let's just see in our Android example can we just do that can we just add that query string and hopefully if we do this we and we're sending so we're actually gonna send something you know to that script and you know we're gonna light it up again and then hopefully this time what we're gonna say is we should see a little kapla here because uh, we're actually sending something in this request. So we got to go send it off and kapla! Yes, my username, my password. Now, you know, this is not what we want. We actually want to send our username and our password along. So let's go back into our Android and basically do a little modification and grab this data from our user interface. All right, let's hop on back over here to our activity and so what we want to do is we want to we want to send our own stuff here. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a little cut and paste here. We say okay, we want to do that. We're going to add, add, plus, and so we got and from you know when we were doing this stuff before we had this this string right here. So we're going to paste that right in here. Okay, so that's going to go off to our user interface and grab that, and we're going to do the same thing for password. I'm going to plug that in there like so. 
and we don't need my password anymore. We don't need that ending. Actually, we don't need any of that stuff. We just need to copy and paste our password here. Edit text like that. Okay, looks good. Okay, so what we're going to do now is going to launch this app. We're going to launch our uh, application again. We're actually going to send it data from our user interface as a get request. And, you know, we're looking here to get uh, to send out our username and mock username and password to our script. And hopefully we get a little kapla back. And what do we got here? Yes, kapla. It works. Let's just change something here. Maybe we want to do uh, uh, Kirk. And let's say our password is Enterprise. And send off the login request. And by gosh, we got it back. So what's going on here? We're doing full circuit. We are. Uh, we got some uh, script that's inside our Volley app. It's sending out this get request. And we are getting some success. All right. So... This is great. Uh, we're going to move on to do some other kind of cool stuff, and we're going to get more useful as we go along. Talk to you in the next uh, video.